Hello again and welcome. Inside this case we have a very old Raytheon infrared camera. This is the Night Sight Palm IR250. This was produced at the end of 1999. In the back of the manual we can see this warning. It says the anti-reflective coating on infrared optical components contains radioactive thorium fluoride. The only potential hazard involves ingestion or inhaling of this coating material. Do not grind, sand, or file the coated infrared optical components. Avoid prolonged skin contact with chips or powder residue from the broken or damaged infrared optical components. Should contact occur, immediately wash exposed skin area. Handle with care. Wear protective gloves and a respirator during handling. See the detector type format, uncooled ferroelectric 320 by 240 resolution. Spectral response is 7 to 14 microns. Video update rate 30 hertz. Focal range is typically 20 feet minimum. So this camera has actually been modified by myself. I had removed the lens assembly and I took out all the optics and then I used a Dremel tool to modify some of the plastics that allow this to have a different focal point. So this now focuses at about three feet as a serial port connection that's this and this is a composite video output this is your on off switch this is your adjustment the mode and you have a select switch in the back this uses the standard VHS-C batteries so it's made by Duracell so it comes with a charger you can see the charger comes with a cigarette lighter adapter and also this wall transformer. This spring was part of the lens assembly. I removed this when I made the modifications to it. So I thought what we could do is try to write some software for this camera that would post process the data and then see if we can actually read temperature with it. You can see here I have a small piece of perf board and then I have a whole bunch of different valued series resistors. These all dissipate different amounts of power and have a different temperature. So what I'm going to do is set this thing up in a vise. I'm going to let it stabilize for about 10 minutes. I'm going to use our meter here to measure the temperature. Looking at the software that I wrote in LabVIEW, just do File, Open. In the upper right, we have a histogram representing the grayscale density. This is the size of the picture, so 854 by 480 pixels. This is looking at our color map, and this is the image after we've colorized it. There's an A cursor here, and a B cursor here. Currently this is calibrated for 42 degrees C. The ambient temperature is 19 degrees. This is looking at the actual resistor. And you can see the wire is exposed. And because it's very shiny, of course the temperature readings off of this are not going to be very accurate. Normally you'd want to spray this down with something. We use foot spray quite a bit. This is looking at our heater assembly. You can see I can clip the data. So basically I'm going to take the low 20% and I'm going to set that to the background temperature. All right, let's go ahead and open up the image that we took of our resistors. And again, we'll go ahead and colorize these. Just bring the camera in a little closer. This is looking at the data that I collected for each resistor. So starting from the left and working to the right, you can see our far left resistor was at 19.2 degrees, 19.7, 20.8, 20.2, and it works it's all the way up to 41 degrees. So if we put our A cursor on the very first resistor, B cursor is on the ambient, so this is 19.29 uh, up here. Uh, so right here, it looks like we're measuring 20.85, and then 21.30, and then 22.45. This resistor, 
from what I had measured with the thermocouple was 20.8. The next one is 24.26. I measured 22. We go to the next resistor. We can see it's also at 24. The next one is 28.1. And we measured 26.7. The next one is 31, 32.1, and the next one is 38.9, looks like we measured 35.4, and then 40.2, it looks like we measured 38.9, so the next one you can see it's 40.15, 42.9, start to move down here, it's like 36.2. So it's not real accurate, but if you were just looking for a relative type measurement, uh, this camera could actually be used. So this is looking at the two power resistors that we just used and we can see these are both roughly at 40 degrees Celsius. Well, I think that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed seeing the old camera run. Till next video. Later.